Dark themes are awesome, and it's a good thing that more and more developers are making them available in their apps. A number of websites even let users use dark themes when being viewed within web browsers. Also, a lot of them don't. Like how cool would it be to have a dark background on Google? Well, luckily you can, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you an easy way to make the background on almost any website dark. So to do this, we're going to be using a browser extension slash add-on called Dark Reader. What you want to do is head over to the Dark Reader website, and you can find a link for it down in the description. Once you're there, you're only a few clicks away from having a dark background on almost any website. What you want to do is click on the link for the particular web browser that you're using. And currently, Dark Reader is available for Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. So I'm going to click on Chrome, which takes me directly to the Chrome Web Store. And here, all I have to do is click on the Add button, click Add again, and that's it. The process is basically the same for Firefox. I personally don't own a Mac, but here's some footage of Dark Reader running on Safari. One thing that does suck here is that it's not free for Safari as it is for Chrome and Firefox. So if you're on Mac OS, using this extension will cost you. Now have in mind that it doesn't work 100% of the time, but more often than not, at least in my experience, it works like a charm and it looks great. Change the browser theme to a darker one and it looks even better. The cool thing about this extension is that it allows you to tweak things like the brightness, contrast, grayscale, etc. So in case you're not happy with the default theme, you can always adjust it in the settings. Another great thing is that you can add exceptions. So if you don't want the dark theme to be applied to certain websites, you can specify those websites right here. For example, I don't want the dark theme to be applied on Facebook. So if I enter facebook.com here, as you can see, it has its regular white background. But if I go, for example, to Google, the dark theme is still applied. On the other hand, if you only want some websites to have the dark background, you can have that as well. So instead of entering exceptions, you would specify the websites you want to be affected. The extension tries to avoid affecting websites that already have their own dark modes active. For example, Twitter. Currently, I have Dark Reader enabled and the Twitter dark theme disabled. But if I turn Twitter's dark mode on, as you can see, it sort of overwrites Dark Reader. Now for mobile devices, bad news and good news. Chrome currently does not support extensions in the mobile app, and the extension appears to only be available for Mac OS, so nothing for Safari on iOS. But if you're using Firefox Mobile, you can use Dark Reader just like on the desktop. And finally, privacy. The developers of Dark Reader claim that they do not collect any personal data, but I advise you to read their privacy policy for yourself and determine if you are comfortable with the terms. Anyway, that would be all for this short video. Hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.